Um, you know, Amazon had a brief, uh, a brief move higher and outperforming the group or outperforming big tech for a bit there on the, on the reports of as much as 10,000, many as 10,000 people losing their jobs, 3% of the company. But it, it retreated a bit and is down again today, cool. perhaps more on, on uh, the actual uh, re concern about spending. It's funny. You've got uh, Mark Zuckerberg curtailing spending uh, in, in extraneous projects, and everybody loves it. You have Amazon controlling, <laughs> curtailing spending in extraneous projects, and people hate it. Yeah, they didn't like I know. No, no. Didn't yeah, get a, Bezos come out and literally tell people well, not they, right. to buy stuff. Well, Bezos was kind of like, <laughs> you know, look, the apocalypse is coming, so maybe you want to cut back on Alexa. I don't know uh, about you, but I'm going to space, so yeah, I'll, see right, I'll see you later. I'm out of here. I was ordered Me and Lauren, we're going to be. Launch. But Meta, Meta, I think some of Meta is the notion that the FBI is going to shut down its principal competitor, Reels. And if that's the case, wow. I mean, because Reels did pretty well anyway. What people are worried about, obviously, with Meta is, is that what is Mark doing with the Meta wall, with the Meta the virtual school? Uh, the layoffs, again, were more generous than the Twitter layoffs. Where he says, either respond to this email by 5 o'clock tomorrow or yeah. leave. You get three months, though. You get three months. You get three months if you're an employee at Twitter. Oh, that's pretty if you're good. not interested in working hardcore, it? hardcore, yes. hardcore, which means what, like basically all the, do time. It all the time. What is it? Round the clock or three months? Wouldn't you take the three months and then go try to get another job? And he's like, job? Take, yeah, I think a lot of people I think, will. But I think he wants to have a turnover there. He, he's looking for turnover. He's very focused on the software engineers and on the proper code. Have you noticed any difference in the daily average users yesterday? You set her up. I saw that you. You said something positive about Daily Average, or you retweeted something. I retweeted something. it. I don't know. Yeah. That Paco Mentaris there. I mean, the guy, um, look, he's trying to figure out what to do. All right. And I think he realizes that it was bloated. I think he wants his own people in. I think three months. We're starting to do these, these severance packages from Silicon Valley are much more generous, generous than well, what you're getting on. Well, Meadow was 16 weeks and, uh, and another, I think, what was it, another two for every year worked. This is just, you get three months at Twitter. What do you think about the fact that Mark Zuckerberg gave you perhaps the most generous severance in the history of Silicon Valley, and yet is regarded as being someone who's not necessarily... Is it really the most generous I've in the history of, of Silicon like that. Valley? Wasn't that? I, wasn't that? I mean, it's well, I, 60 I, weeks, you know, four months, what? I've heard uh, people who've gotten the package that I know are literally trying to reorient their lives. Valley, South Sea Island. That's, that's very seasons. nice. About four seasons. Meanwhile, Elon stars, Elon stars. is going to actually be taking World a moment Cup. out of his busy day to, to appear in court in front of his favorite chancellor, McCormick, who we Back. talked a great deal about because she is overseeing this compensate this trial about his compensation to Tesla. Of course, Chancellor McCormick, you may recall, was also um, running the Twitter deal trial, so to speak, but she never got to actually officiate the actual trial itself because he bought the company for right. exactly what he said he would. And now, right. he, now he's stuck with it. But if you're on the Tesla line and you're used to seeing him, let's say, in Austin, I mean, he does seem to be uniquely focused, at least physically, uh, at, at, at Twitter, uh, and is basically giving you a daily look at things when he does the daily average users. Uh, he's taking time to, to figure out whether certain people should be CEOs. I, I I thought John Ledger would be a great CEO, but he doesn't. doesn't. Hey. I thought there should be a, like a king and a prime minister, and you make Ledger king, <laughs> and you say prime minister. He will find a CEO, as I, I reported this a long time ago when he was first talking to those investors, right. saying, I will be interim CEO for a period of perhaps three months or more, and we're in that period right now. Right. At some point, he will find a CEO. I don't think he's going to listen to you. No, um, not at all. No. He but literally no said, more, um, no. No. No, but I think he gave me really the same time of day that, that, that Bob Paycheck gave me. Listen, <laughs> I think you got feedback from Elon Musk, and that's pretty good. good. I think I haven't won over anyone in least maybe eight or nine months to anything I'd like. I, I agree with you. Not one thing. Yeah, Not one it's thing. A, it's been a tough run it's on your tough. business development. They still haven't broken ground on that theme park in New Mexico. No, They're still waiting. Any, I'm trying to figure out where. Yeah. I mean, for instance, I went down to Philadelphia to see the no-hitter. But we were no hit. I'm looking for a win. 
I'm struggling for a win. Um, eight and one. I think you can take that to the bank. Well, I'd like to think so, but we do play the uh, Colts That's coming up, and the, they're coached by Saturday, but playing on a Sunday. Yeah. When did Saturday play on a Sunday last day? It's a college game. 